Chicago Police Department gang audit found that there were over 600 gang factions in the city with a minimum combined of 70,000 members. But gang members are not the only ones affected by gun violence. Every day there are youth members, parents, families, and innocent victims affected by these senseless shootings. Whether these shootings are accidental or an act of violence, this has created a fear in those walking the streets who are not affiliated with gangs. In 2014, the state of Illinois passed a gun law that allows citizens to conceal and carry. Mommy for a little while and I'll be back to see you, okay? like myself just being out here it's crazy out here like the playing field is like even now like I ain't got to worry about nobody trying to rob me for my jewelry or anything like that I can protect myself you do a good job anyway okay I'm gonna do a better job what up boy well, yeah I'm right on the port no, I'm at my crib. Yeah, 8.30. Do it. Hot. Right. of Mike receiving his concealed and carry card, you see how quickly a situation can escalate. Not once did he think about handling this differently. Not once did he think about the fact that he just pulled out a gun on someone he grew up with. And not once did he think about the consequences that come with killing someone. But what he did do was underestimate the power one can possess when carrying such a powerful weapon. And with power comes confidence. And when used incorrectly, in a hostile environment, those traits can make an innocent person commit a senseless act like of violence. Man, you just got a good job and anything, you got a baby girl and anything, Joe. You don't want to do that, bro. Oh, boy, 
he always told me, boy. What you that mean, pull the trigger, man? Pull the trigger, man. Bro, Due to Mike not thinking, this one bad decision caused him to kill a friend of 15 years and is now sentenced to 60 years in prison, keeping him away from what he valued most, his family. His wife no longer has the man of her life, and now his daughter has to grow up without her father. Think Before You Shoot is a process that can't be taken well before you get possession of a gun. This is a movement aimed at the sister's shootings in our communities a way to connect individuals and generations together to support and share a positive message. It's time we stand up against gun violence and tell the world to put the guns down. This is creator and writer Anthony Sturdivant of Think Before You Shoot, and I'm asking you to please stop the violence. Save our city, Chicago, not Chirac.